Right, um, it's me again, Jake, and I'm going to be showing you how to make crates that move when you press an action button or touch them. You can change it, whichever one you want, just by changing this. Um, yeah, for example, blocking off a certain area and they have to be moved in the right order to get to a chest or whatever you want. Uh, I'll show how it works really quickly. Um Damn it, I'm gonna start a new game. Don't look at this, this is my game. Not allowed to read that. Bear with me. Ugh, stupid balloon. Right, yeah, to the boxes. Basically, they don't move when you run into them. They block your way. Um, you can use various other obstacles to block. Mm, don't know if I could do that. <laughs> you can use various obstacles to block your way as well, other than just crates to make it look a bit more like a horrible mess upstairs in your house. Uh, actually, to move it, plays a cool sound effect. You push them in the right order. Um, Bear me the horrible sounds because you won't be able to hear me over them. Unless I, I'll probably just edit it later so you can. Um, push these away. And I can get to my chest. And you gain the item you need for the quest. Uh, push it out of the way, cause, yeah. Can have some fun with this and just like block someone's door with it if you wanted, I suppose. Do whatever you want, really. you can make an event there, so they lock in that position if you want to. But yeah, simple enough when you know what it is. Uh, they're all exactly the same, so I just made one and then copy and pasted it. And it's just a load of conditional branches. Um, how it works is you get your conditional branch on page three, and then your character, the player, oops, the player is facing down or up or left or right. It doesn't matter matter which one you start with, as long as you have them all eventually. Uh, I start with the down, and then if he is facing down, then it will play the sound effect, and it will set the move route of this event and down because you are facing down and if you press the action button you'll want it to move down so it moves down and I changed the speed so it wouldn't like shoot down really quickly as well which is just there change speed you can have fast slowest slower I prefer slow it's quite good speed for it uh, you change whatever you want uh, and then if it's not if you're not facing down then it will have another conditional branch saying are you facing left and if you are it will play the sound effect obviously again and it will make it move left with the move route instead of down and if you are not facing left then it will ask you if you're facing right and then it will play the sound effect if you are and set the move route and make it move right and if you are not facing right uh, it will ask you if you're facing up plays the sound effect and makes it move up with the move route and that's it you can't move in any other direction or face in any other direction really so from any direction you can push it if you only wanted to be able to push it from down left and right but you don't want to be able to push it from up then you just delete this bit and then it would only work from those directions and nothing would happen if you were facing up but if you did want something to happen when it was facing up you'd replace this with text or kill instantly 
Well, yeah, you can probably tell I like killing people instantly. <laughs> uh, that's simple. And I'm not going to show you my fancy game, which has been taking far too long. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments if I'm being a bit too unclear on either of my videos that I've made so far. Thanks and goodbye.